Hello everyone, I'm Susan Chopra. Welcome to this video. We're back on the further use of sage for, for cleansing our space, for cleansing our aura, for cleansing our, 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 our jewelry, our crystals, and for just cleansing anything. Um, so like I always insist, um, what's the most important part in this exercise is your intention as it's very, very essential that you set a clear intention. So what would that mean? That would mean to know why are you doing what you're doing? That's one. And the second thing that you must really clearly have an answer to is that what is it that I want to achieve by this? Uh, so I would want you to sit down for briefly a few seconds and just take your breath and get clarity on these two aspects and once you have the answer for these two questions uh, i'll give you an example why am i doing what i'm doing so i am doing what i'm doing because i want my family to be happy i want my house to have um enough room enough happiness enough peace enough joy enough prosperity enough health for every person in my house and for every person who visits my house so what do i want to achieve by doing by smudging or by saging my house well i want to i want to have only positivity and highest vibrating energy in my house so this is how you can really clarify and hone your intention um you know boiling it down to very clear statements it's always better to write it on a piece of paper because when you do that you really you're actually writing that in your mind crystal clear so once you have these two answers uh, with you, you are ready to start the process because half of the work is already done when you have an absolutely clear intention. Next very important thing is your mood when you are performing this ritual because you really have to be vibrating at that highest point of energy where you really want to just do it and, and, and achieve your target. So make sure you're 100% at that level of energy of wanting to do this and, and putting an end to that which you feel is not needed for yourself or for your family. So, and then of course you get started, so you need a sage stick, you need a feather to fan the smoke in all the directions, making sure it just gets through uh, in those areas where you really don't have a physical access, like under the beds and behind the mirrors and in your wardrobes deep there. So a feather would really facilitate that free movement of the wind and make sure your windows, what I personally do is I shut all the doors and I shut all the windows but most people prefer to keep windows and doors open but personally my angels guide me you shut the doors first so i trap the negativity first and i once i'm ready with my sage so that it doesn't have any room to go and i i, I blow i fan a lot of sage and then i you know i let it be for 15 minutes and like that and that's when I open the windows and the doors uh, uh, so and, and turn on the fan so that all of that gets to leave through that exit and have an exit point um, and yeah the results I get are fascinating because my house vibrates sparkling positive energy and and it works miraculous for me and I see an up in all avenues of my life um, and it's happy, happy, happy times. So try smudging sage this way. Um, and of course, take care if you are allergic or you can't tolerate too much smoke around you, then you're so much better to keep your, 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 your exits open. So just at the same time when you're smudging the sage. Thank you, hope this serves you. Angel blessings.